my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. We are back in Division 2 and we're going to be looking at all the vendors and showing you what you need to buy. We're not going to be going over every weapon, every piece of gear. If it's good for the optimization station or it's just a good roll in general, I'm going to tell you to pick it up. If we skip a vendor, it's because it was not worth going there. But if you guys enjoy the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe. It really helps. Hit that like, notifications, whatever you guys can do. All right, right off the bat, we have the zero Fs. Now, if you have not done your Ridgeway's Pride quest line, the exotic chest, you should pick this up because you're going to need it for part of it. And if you do not have this when you have to start going out and farming, it is probably going to be the longest part of the mission for you. Now, that was the hardest part for me. I spent about three or four hours. Maybe you'll get it on your first try and maybe you'll get it on your 12th or 15th hour. So you might as well pick it up now, throw it in your stash. That way, when you can come back and you do that quest, go ahead and grab it and you'll be good to go. Now, over at the clan vendor, we have the four multiplier now this is a very great backpack but in my personal opinion if you have something with tech support I think it does a lot better even though you don't have the extra damage you're honestly not going to be able to keep this 30% damage up at all times and you need to consider that when using this talent now it's much easier to keep tech support up just because it's going to be up all the time especially if you are running this with a turret build and which is what I would suggest you could also do an explosive build because we have the status effects so you might be able to get away with using an artillery turret and if you were going to roll this for a turret build I would probably just re-roll that status effects to skill damage and keep that critical hit damage because you can do sort of a hybrid build with the technician specialization that's a really great backpack but again it has that kind of short-sighted part where if you're not damaging something every three seconds and that can happen fairly often maybe something is suppressed maybe you just don't have the line of sight and you can't push up like it would be on a legendary mission but all in all if you don't have this backpack and you don't have a good tech support backpack go ahead pick this up and just re-roll it to your heart's content this is a very good pickup and you can also optimize it fairly well next up we are at dz east and we have the carnage now this is actually a great lmg if you're going to be using it with an ongoing directive and like a solo sometimes it's not the best in the group setting just the way the talent of ongoing directive works but a really great talent since everything is always going to be bleeding you're always going to be doing that extra 25 percent weapon damage to all targets now picking this up i would probably just optimize it or you can re-roll that damage to armor to max to damage to health whatever your preference is but i would stick with the damage to armor and just optimize this this is actually a great pickup and i would suggest getting it if you do not have it in your arsenal already 